All right, back with the final turn of Greenland. So here's the final event. All right, got Northern Migration. Got a um, decimation, but I don't think anybody's gonna succumb to that because we actually have chiefs or elders or all that jazz, right? So we're not gonna have that. We do have a Northern Migration and decimation, crowd decimation of 13 plus, which I don't think anybody's got 13 plus. 10 there, you definitely don't have 13. Yeah, I only have 10. So that's actually pretty good. That's one of the higher decimation. I think it's the highest one, so we're okay. Let's do that northern migration. Who's left? An 8, 15, and a 9. So let's find out what comes up. A husky. Interesting. So he's going to replace the 8. So the polar bear just went away. So that pretty much is unfortunate because I think that's going to seal the game. I don't think anybody's going to be able to stop red. They might be able to go get bog iron. But they need trophies because they're not they're not monotheistic. So let's take a look at what the victory can and when we score victory points at the end. Not the end no, it's game in and victory. It ends on the last turn of the event deck. We don't have the, the cold or whatever thing happening. We didn't get rid of all those guys. Trophy icons, resource, each ivory is worth one. If you're monotheistic, population, each of your cubes and cylinders not in Valhalla count as one. So that's one way I could probably try to zoom the front, but again, the Norse already have a huge advantage there. Green's not, unless green can somehow decimate red. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Green does get to go first. So green is going to actually make red go first, and then yellow, and then green's going to go last to try to figure this out. Although they kind of need to grab that hooded seal, don't they? It's the only trophy left on the board, and it's up here, and it's worth two points, which isn't a lot. But they kind of might need it. I don't know if they're going to actually be able to do that, because if they get another iron, they don't have a mariner. It's the only place they can get iron is from the bog, right? And if they do that, that's going to be very helpful for them. 12, and he has 9. Yeah, I mean, even if he got that trophy, he'd only have 11. He does kind of need it, though, if he wants to win. So let's see. We're just going to have to... Not a whole lot to do here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so should red go first? Because they're just going to go for the bog iron, because that's the way they can secure a win. Green really needs a hood seal, so maybe... But if they kill people to go for the bog iron, that could be good, too. Yes, we're going to let red go first. Red is going to do the same thing they did last turn. They're going to bring... This time they just need a bunch of guys. So they're going to bring... Should they just go? Everybody should just go in, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Everybody's going to go in. All the red hunters are going to go in on the bog iron. Yellow has, like, zero options. Yellow is not going to be able to win. Um... They could try to grow, but I don't think they're not going to be able to grow faster because they don't have animals. It's going to be really rough for them. They could try to go for this hooded seal. Still not going to be helpful for them. But it keeps green from doing it, and they don't want to, want to decide the winners necessarily. But that's kind of what you do. I guess green could have gone second. They could have said, I'm going second, which is probably the smart move because they don't really care about what yellow does. So yeah, green should have gone second. They just want to see what red was going to do. They need that trophy. But they also need to take out red cubes if possible. And if I can get there first and hunt it, that might be so. That might be a, a, a strategy we're gonna have to try here. Um, yeah, right. Although I'd just rather do that. I only get like four. He could wipe me out pretty quickly. He can't do. Um, he doesn't get ones or twos because he have a, does, doesn't have a war chief or a Viking chief. So he can't. When that becomes a raid by him, when we have a battle, he won't be able to roll ones or twos. But I will be able to because I have a war chief. And um, yeah. Although I wonder if, it, if it's a raids, but then it says that if you have your alpha, you get to roll ones and twos, but then it just says here on the warm side, that's what it lets your raids do. So maybe raids in the cold side, you still have to have one. That's a very interesting thing. I would look that rule up, but again, I don't want to spend a bunch of time looking in the rule book. Like, I really wish there was just an index. Really wish there was an index. Oh, well. Tough, tough, tough. Do I just do a rumble in the jungle and just try to eliminate all of his guys? But that won't even help because he has more victory points than me and I need the hooded seal. Oh, this is so risky. So we're going to take six guys over to the hooded seal. 
And these four guys are going to come over here and just, I guess, well, but then if they lose victory points, that's not going to be helpful for them. So maybe they just need to get one more guy to max out on guys on the board. So let's take these three dudes. We have a Mariner. We also have Sleds, so we can go anywhere we want, really. What's going to give me the best success? Oh, honestly, they're all going to do that, right? I'll just go for the Caribou and try to get two bigs. Although, I only have three cubes in Valhalla. My Muskox will give me two. So let's just go ahead and get the one extra one. Let's go ahead and do the Little Lock. I don't really care. Little Lock's going to gonna get hunted. Well, since there's so many dudes in the lock, and I have a tracker, which lets me get an auto success, what I think I'll do is I'll just take these three other guys, and we're going to really go for the, the hooded seal. We're going to try to get that. Yellow is just in a, in a bad spot. They could... They don't really have anything they can do. So I think they're just going to have to... Okay, I don't think they have any way of winning. They'll just go for the old ring seal. Why not? Give them an extra guy. Although they should... No, they'll go for the... Uh, do they have a sled? Oh, they don't have a sled. Hmm. You know what I think we'll do is we'll put two guys in the ring seal and we'll take this guy down to Caribou. We'll just see if we can grab a bunch of guys. I don't know. It's not going to be that helpful. Okay. Negotiate and attacks. We don't have anybody on the same cards. I think we're fine there. So now we're going to go to red. We're just going to roll one. It's all a bunch of dice, basically. Do we have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they have 10. And we're going to roll all the die. I kind of wish I had a dice tower, but this one you have so many dice. Wow, he didn't get it. There's only one one. Only one one. So he didn't get it. That could be very, very big. Although, no, right? He has a stupid cold forge process. Did he roll any fours? Oh, he sure did. He rolled two fours. So he got it. And that was close, wasn't it? Three fours. Damn. Okay, so he gets an iron. He'll spend an energy to get an iron, of course. And I think that pretty much seals the game for him. I don't think there's any way the green's going to come back. But now we'll go to green. They automatically get the little ox success. So we'll take this cube, throw it there. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice. They're going to try to hunt this. Looking for triples. And do they get any bonuses? It is a maritime hunting. No, they don't have any maritime hunting bonuses. None of their technology or daughters help out with that. So. All right, we did it. We just barely did it because I rolled that three. Woo! And we got a success. So, boom. Rolled triples. We'll take that into our hand as a trophy. We get two guys and an energy. I don't think that really matters for us because our ox would do that for us too. But, yeah, that's pretty dope. And green comes back. And they also get their little ox. Right? So they get this and they take it in their hand. And poor old yellow is just going to roll their three. They pretty much are out of it. Just to see if they can get it. So they get auto success. They're going to roll for three dice to get the auto success if they can. They do not. Wait. They have, no, it's a land hunting. They have no ability to modify land hunting rules. They have maritime hunting, but not land hunting. So that didn't even work for them. And then we got two guys here at the ring seal. Got it. So we get a baby and an energy. So yellow gets that, and that is just not going to be enough. Yep, so they're good to go there, and they do that. And they're done. All right, that's the end. That is the end. We've done all the events. And I'm pretty sure red's going to win here, right? Because red has, because of their monotheistic goals, they have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And then they also have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they have 24 points. So maybe they have to get plus one for those. And then they have all their iron and ivory that they have there. So they have 24 points. Yellow is just sad. <laughs> they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten points. Because they have that narwhal or the walrus from the first turn. And the tunit did manage to get some hunts together. So they got, what, four, five, six, eleven. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait, do they have 24 as well? Oh, wait, that's not going to happen. You know why? Oh, this is sad. This is sad. There's no more green cubes available for me to get for the muskox because I've used all mine from Valhalla. Um, and 
and this guy will get one more because of his settlement goat. I think that's going to be the tipping point. He gets one guy for his settlement goat. Oh, is that really true? So he has three, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, plus eleven is twenty-five. Oh goodness. And then I have five, six, seven, eight, eleven here. Four, five, ten, thirteen is twenty-four. So yep. Wow. Really close game here. Actually, I thought it was a lot closer. Maybe I should have taken out some of these cubes, but then I wouldn't have gotten the trophy. And the trophy is what kind of what was definitely was worth it. I don't know, maybe I should have attacked. That's kind of, oh, I might have goofed that up. But that's okay. I mean, that's how it happens, right? It's only the first game. So, wow. So turn 10, we finished all the event cards at the end of the game. Red just eking out a victory with their monotheistic ways and iron acquisition. Green almost coming up with a victory there with their surplus guys. If they just would have had more cubes where they put all of them onto this, uh, on their own card, that was maybe a miscalculation. Probably should have burned some elders last turn. <laughs> thinking about that, but I didn't. Something to think about in the future, I guess. If you're getting close, you might need to burn all your elders in turn nine so that you can um, have more guys to get for victory points, right? Interesting. Okay. Well, that was a really fun game. Really close up until I think the end. Yellow was sort of in it until they weren't. Red had the nice little dip down and come back. And uh, green, the tunit, really just held on and almost pulled it off. Getting nice trophies here. Anyway, I didn't do a lot of daughter marrying, Sabine raids, it happened a couple times, you know, that was fun to do, probably should have done it more. Definitely kind of messed up the New World colonies, but uh, you can see the biomes were getting short, <laughs> not very many things left to hunt, it was getting difficult towards the end. Anyway, that's a, that was a pretty fun game, I think, I really like Greenland. I've got uh, Neanderthal and Pax Pamir on the way, so maybe I'll pull out Neanderthal when it gets here, maybe I'll just play another game of Greenland, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and that's the end of turn 10. Okay, slight addendum. Camera brain, you really should read this off camera, not on camera to really get the uh, full impact. So, if you take a look carefully, it says that one, I can convert cards in my tableau worth an iron and ivory towards my VP. So, the Norse actually would have gotten rid of their cold forging process. It would have been like, sweet, and then gotten iron out of that. And the reason that's important is because I didn't realize that when you count for... Um, Population, it says here, each of your cubes and cylinders not in Valhalla count as one, P, one BP. And none of these guys went to the cold side, that doesn't matter. But check it out. I was thinking that meant that green here wouldn't count their elders, but they do count their elders because they're on the board. And he gets to count that one too. So let's do a really quick uh, recap of the score just to make sure 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 points here, 17, 20, 25, 28. So we had 28 points there. The tunit, we know we have full six. We have six points there, right? We know we had, what is that? Uh, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17. And then we have, what, 5, 10, 13, plus 17 is 30. So actually, green won. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Green was able to actually win because they eked out getting that card, getting the population bonuses, keeping all their elders alive. So I lied, green one, green one. So that actually was really close. And even then I, oh, I did that right, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Yep, just like 26 and I think, or whatever, they're not gonna have 30. And these guys definitely have 13 there. Plus their trophy hunting is five, six, seven, eight, 11. So we already have 24, and then you add six more, that's uh, 30. So yeah, slight correction, green actually won. Way to go, tune it. Sorry, Norris, you had such a great thing going for you. If you just would have maybe gotten more elders out, that sort of shows you the value now of getting your elders and keeping them. So yeah, slight correction, my mess up. At least I got this one corrected on camera, and I didn't have someone sadly tell me that I messed up the victory conditions at the end, and hopefully I got it right this time. Um, we don't have any representative cubes out. We don't have any of the uh, New World in the cold side, and we did the trophy and resource ones. I didn't realize you could actually discard a card at the very end. Like, see, you can trash it here for an iron. You can do that to get more points. That almost, man, if they just would have had a couple more iron, maybe some more ivory. Ugh. Anyway, close, close, close. Anyway, green. Green's the winner. Good job. Anyway, that's the end. Just wanted to throw that in so that I uh, could get that correct on camera.